Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are on our way to the Irithyll dungeon. If you're wondering where it is, it's just off in this, uh, just at the end of this, like, I don't even know what you'd call it, swamp? Frozen swamp area? Whatever it is. Uh, you just go over here. Uh, behind me a little ways, basically where those rocks are, or just a little bit, yeah, where those rocks are is, uh, where, no, 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 in that little tunnel over there. If you go into that tunnel, you can go hang out with, uh, Sigvert of Katarina in a very nice little, uh, cozy fireplace area. I'm gonna go see if he's still there. I don't think he is, but we're gonna find out. We are gonna go find out. <clears throat> uh, hopefully I don't have to kill anything in here. Uh, if he's not, or if he isn't there, uh, we will know. Uh, bring it on, you weird wannabe gaping dragons. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up, sister. Down you go. Hey, what'd you drop? Oh, green blossom. Cool, I didn't realize they could drop that. Come here, you. Urgh. Man, that does that is a huge boost in damage. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> I don't mind about using all my potions here because I'm coming up on a bonfire real quick. Uh, but I said we were going to be inside Irithyll Dungeon. I or, Yeah, I said I, I said it was going to be inside Irithyll Dungeon by this episode, but I lied. Oh, uh, what's-his-face is still here. Good. Um, you talk to Sigvard enough. Um, I think the way it works is you can't activate... If you talk to Sigvard in here, you can't activate the bonfire to the, uh... Irithyll dungeon, because that triggers him leaving to go as he's gonna say. I think he... I think he says it. Oh. Sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, the only thing... <laughs> and he just falls asleep immediately. Man, I wish I could fall asleep as easily as Sigvert. It takes me like an hour to fall asleep. And it sucks, because my cats get me up like in the middle of the night. Like, last night in particular, they got me up like three times. One at two, four, and one at six o'clock. Or once at six o'clock. And then it takes me like another hour to fall asleep. I fell, like I went to bed at like 11, fell asleep at like 12, got up at two, fell asleep for an hour, got up at four, fell asleep for another hour, got up at six. And then fell asleep for another hour and woke up, finally got out of bed at 8. 8.30, actually. Which I know isn't, like, I don't do anything, so me complaining about me being tired kind of falls on deaf ears, because, like I just said, I don't actually do a damn thing. I just kind of hang out and tend the house. But, <clears throat> yeah, it's still quite annoying. Why is that room so fucking dark? <clears throat> like I have cast light on and I can I can't even see three feet in front of me. What is this bullshit? But now we're in Irithyll Dungeon. Irithyll Dungeon blows and I hate it here. Everything is awful in here. Everything is awful. Nothing's good inside of the dungeon. It sucks. Get me out. And don't chase those guys. This guy, uh, this guy would like to make your acquaintance if you do. Fucking stop attacking! Jesus Christ, he just didn't stop. Ugh, get out of here, you ugly bastards. There we go. So that's everybody dead. Or at least I think everybody dead. Most people dead. Oh, goody. There are some, some wazards over here. Okay, first off, that was very mean. And there is a fire witch. Where's the fire witch? Doesn't matter, that guy's dead. Large Titanite Shard. Well, the flame came from behind me, so I'm assuming he's off this way. There he is! Hey, big guy. Catch a wave of magic. Catch my sword in your butt. Down goes the big guy. I kind of like his cape. I kind of want his cape. Do you think he'd give it to me if I asked politely? I don't think so. I don't think he'd give it to me. I wouldn't give it to me. Now then. I'm not gonna lie. In this area right here, uh, Olivia, or Oliva, Seeker of the Spurned. Oh, there you are. There you are, Alva. How you doing, Alva? Let me lock onto them, please. They're right behind me. Oh, wait, shit, I just wasted my... Ugh! <laughs> 
Take it! Woo! Oh wait. I missed I missed the I missed the magic swing. Ow. That hurt. That also hurt. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> Just catch my sword then. Suck it, Alva! I kinda forgot. Oh, Murakumo. Cool. I kind of forgot that I was, a uh, still Embered. Even though I did just kill Aldrich. And then ran here. Well, I say ran, but I warped here. Um. <clears throat> I'm just gonna chug that real quick and chug that. There we go. We're good to go. Good to go. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to cast Light in here. I don't really need it, but I like it. It makes me feel safer anyways. Um, but we are now in the Irithyll dungeon properly. Irithyll Dungeon, as I've said, like, seven times in the last episode, just before it ended. Irithyll Dungeon can fucking blow me. This place sucks. And you're gonna find out why when I turn that corner over there. Um. Ooh, a rusted coin. Well, first I'm gonna get screamed at. And then I'm gonna beat that guy. Um. You know what? I'm gonna want a torch. I'm gonna want this torch. Double light! There we go. Uh, I'm gonna want this torch for very obvious reasons. Oh yeah, you see that guy walking there? That guy is the single worst thing. Those enemies are the single worst thing about the entirety of the Irithyll dungeon. It is locked. Damn. How do I unlock it? I forget. I know I get, like, Grave Warden keys in here. Oh, cool. Or, well, I saved Grave Warden, but I get, like, cell keys in here, so... Hopefully... It'll do us some good. Hopefully we'll find the key that we need to get into these doors as quickly as possible. But, that guy right there with his lantern and his fucking upside down peace symbol prod can blow me. Come here, big guy. Oh, okay, he's just gonna spit curse at me? I didn't realize that was a thing you could do. Ha! That's gonna hit the wall, isn't it? No, it isn't. Good. Now, I don't want him to do anything. Watch my health here for a second. Just just watch my health bar. Eventually, it'll... Uh, maybe he didn't do it. He did not do it. Okay. Never mind. Just keep, my health, keep an eye on my health bar next time I run into one of those enemies. Um. Be wary of trap. You know, you should probably put that, like, right here. Be wary of right, because you'd come out here, you'd grab that item, that dude that I just killed would run out and push you off. Well, I freed you, are you gonna, how are you gonna repay me? Oh, by trying to kill me, cool. Thank you. I will repay your kindness, uh, in a similar manner. I'm just gonna cast light again, because I like it. Light is good. Light is a thing that I enjoy. You guys aren't doing anything, but I don't care, because I don't trust a single one of you. Impale me! Backstab? Backstabs for days! I really like this sword, though. I don't, like, I know it's a shittier version of the, uh, Moonlight... Oh, hello, hey, hey, big guy. Um... I'm not leaving here. Yes, I am, that's a lie. Yeah, just keep, just keep an eye on my health. Just keep, just, 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 you see my health bar go down? That's what they do. They just hold up their lantern, and they steal your max health. It'll come back after a while, but the amount of health that you lose does not return when your health bar goes back to full. And it sucks. Everything about these guys pisses me off. Their friggin' little pokey stick, their prod does an ungodly amount of damage, and also imbues you with a really fucking stupid debuff. Uh, it like, it just makes you stupid heavy, is what it does. They stab you with it, makes you stupid heavy, you can't move anymore. Or like, you move basically like you're at like above 100% movement, or uh, encumberment. It is locked. And I want to get out there. But yeah, just... <sighs> Irithyll Dungeon on its own isn't bad. The Irithyll Gart or Dungeon Keepers are the single worst thing about this place. They are absolutely dog shit. I'm just gonna imbue this with magic so I can go jump on this dude. Surprise, bitch! 
Suck it, you ugly bastard. That didn't kill you. I'm surprised. Is this gonna kill you? Nope. Jump attack. Oh, I know. I'll just I'll just do a heavy attack. Bam. 468 damage. That'll that'll kill him in one hit. If it hits, rather. Yeah, I like doing that. This is fun. This is fun for me. It's lethar lethargic or cathartic? Cathartic. That's what I'm looking for. That's cathartic. It feels good. It just feels good to do that. Now then. All right, yeah, that's just where I was. Okay. So we're going to go down there. We're going to go kill some more Irithyll dungeon keepers, and it's going to be awful. Nothing is good in Irithyll dungeon. Irithyll itself is okay. Irithyll dungeon just, no, it needs to not exist. Surprise, bitch! I saw you there, you ugly bastard. <clears throat> this is the one area where I really, really take my time with it. Because I, like, it was one of the last, one of the last areas that I went through. And I don't really remember everything. So basically, whenever I come across a blind corner, I always, like, I'm just going to throw an attack around the corner. Because I don't remember what's coming. But I got my great sword at the ready. Get him! Oh, I missed. Okay, so I'm gonna equip my, uh... My torch here for a second. And I'm just gonna slap this dude. So what do we got here? Old sorcerer armor. Sweet. Okay, you need to not be doing this right now. Oh god, they all have them. Get off me, please. Thank you, boys. Okay, first off, fuck you. Second of all, catch my greatsword. Catch the Sword of the Dark Moon! I don't remember what it's called. It's judgment. The Sword of Judgment. That's what it is. It's the Blade of Judgment. Okay, what did that What did that just say? Monster ahead. Yeah. I should have read that before I went in, honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the old sorcerer. I'm gonna wear the old sorcerer stuff. It's worse than my stuff, but I don't care. I want to be an old sorcerer. Oh god, I forgot. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm rotten. Right. I'm gonna go back to my big hood. My big hat. There we go. I'm gonna actually go back to my entire old set, because I like it more. It's actually just better. It's slightly heavier, but just better all around. Alright, let's go, big guy. I can hit him through the wall, he can hit me through the wall. I'm just gonna keep stabbing him. Funny how when I can't actually get to the guy is when I have the hardest time fighting him. There we go, now he's dead. Ooh, great magic shield, sweet! I forgot where I got that. Great. I'll leave a note here. Uh, that's not a note, that's a note. Uh, templates. Uh, object? Uh, I can't just, can I, can I just use a, uh, uh, fuck, what's what I'm looking for? Source where you head? Nope. Uh, concept? No, I'll put, uh, quite something ahead then. Uh, objects. Quite something ahead. Not quite something. Uh, treasure ahead. Treasure ahead. Boop. There we go. Treasure. That's the first message I've written in this entire playthrough. Yay, I guess? So now we're gonna go back up. Uh, oh, I can't open this. Right, it's still locked. Okay. <clears throat> hey, that guy's got Solaire's armor. Can I have Solaire's armor? I could if I actually talked to Pickle P and Pumperum. Uh, but I don't. I also don't know what to give them to get stuff. But yeah, now we go across this way. Wow, that has got to be the most painful splits you've ever done. I'm Well, I mean, I don't really think you're feeling it now because you're dead, but still. The sentiment still stands. 
Oh god, okay. I'm not going over there. <laughs> I have to go over there, but I'm not gonna. He can come to me. If he really wants to kill me, he can come to me. Can I open this door? Nope, does not open from the side. Come here, big guy. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's try out my new bow. I don't have any arrows. Never mind. Uh... I gotta run straight out of the bastard. That doesn't bode well. Hidden path ahead. What have we got here? Pale pine resin. Cool. Oh yeah, one of these little things. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. It's like some kind of pale... scaleless dragon baby face demon thing. I don't fucking know. It's terrifying. Um... Oh, was that a hard freeze on my end? Come here, you. That's right, puke stuff at me. Come get me. You know I'm here, come get me. Come here. Fine, I'm gonna throw this at you. Oh, never mind, it doesn't go nearly far enough. Well, if I wanna kill him, I gotta run him down. So let's do just that. He has the advantage in here, but we're going for it. Suck it! There we go. Yeah, these things you really can't dick around. You just gotta, you just gotta kill them. You gotta get rid of them as fast as possible. No, do not spawn that weird giant maggot monster. Large titanite shard that was not worth it in the slightest. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, all right, I go around this thing. Hey, big guy. You find these guys, or more of these guys later that are aggressive, but this one just hangs out and makes weird-ass noises at you. And I'm really not sure which one I prefer, prefer more. Him just hanging out or them trying to kill me. Because if they're trying to kill me, then I murder them. And I get all kinds of nice goodies for it. I don't remember what exactly. Oh, Jailbreaker's Key. Okay. Uh, what is that for? Uh, let's find out. And then, Jailbreaker Key. Key to the barred window of Irithil Dungeon. Oh, okay, I know exactly where that is. I know exactly where that is. Whether or not I want to go there is an entirely different matter, but I know exactly what they're talking about. <clears throat> uh, it was off this way. Jailbreaker Key gets me through this, and I don't remember what's through here. Almost sure. Oh well, I'm I'm going this way now. I I thought there was a little bit more of a uh, archway, like a pathway down there. Oh, okay. This gets me to the profane capital faster. This gets me through bellowing dragon crest ring. What does that do? Greatly boosts sorceries. Yes, please. Okay, so I don't really know where I am now. I know, like, I, I'm outside the profane capital. Like, this is the profane capital. But I don't really know where I am. They are chasing me. What are you? Nothing good. Oh, wait. You're just the hollows from the undead settlement with a creepier looking mask. I'm not chasing that thing. Chasing that thing is going to get me killed, isn't it? What is... Okay, that's just a uh, patch of light there. Yep, it's gonna get me killed. Okay. Doesn't matter, though. Got it. <clears throat> Titanite scale. Sweet. Bring it on, big guy. <clears throat> Alright. What do we got in here? Nothing. I don't know why it's freezing up on me here. I don't know why, like, the frame drops are happening, but they are. Let's go, big dude. You've got a weapon, and I'm going to kill you for it. Never mind, it's gone. Okay. But I'm going to call this an episode. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will catch you on the next episode, which will have me... I don't really know where I am right now, so I don't know where I'll be in the future, but I'll be definitely around here somewhere. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode nearly as much as I did, and I'll see you all next. I know exactly where I am. Holy shit, I don't want to go in that room anymore. But yeah, uh, I'll catch you all next time. It's been a lot of fun. Bye, everybody.